Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the Brazil Team Selection Test 2023, Test 4, Problem 4. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We are asked to find all positive integers n such that the number of positive multiples m with d of m equals n is finite. And here, d of m is the number of positive divisors of m. At first, we want to write down the prime factorization of such a positive integer n, namely n should be equal to the product of i equal 1 up to k of pi to the power of ri, where pi are pairwise distinct, so pi not equal pj, and the ri are greater than or equal to 1. For a multiple m of n, we know that m must be of the form product i equal 1 up to l pi to the power of si. And here at first, we want that l is greater than or equal to k. And we want that si is greater than or equal to ri for i less than or equal to k. And again, we want that the pi are pairwise distinct and si greater than or equal to 1. To write down the number of divisors of m, we use the formula for it, which tells us that d of m is equal to the product i equals 1 up to l s i plus 1. Now we are ready to solve the problem. And at first, we want to get an intuition what's going on here. And therefore, at first, we want to try to find some multiples m of n such that d of m equals n. One idea for this is to just let l equal to k and then put si equals to pi to the power of ri minus 1. This gives us only one value for m with d of m equals n. And therefore, we want to try to modify this idea a bit to get even more values. We can do this by setting l equals k plus 1 and then splitting up one of these factors here into two factors. This gives us the following formula for m. We want m to be equal to pl to the power of p1 minus 1 times p1 to the power of p1 to the power of r1 minus 1 minus 1. And now times the product from i equals 2 to k, pi to the power of pi to the power of ri minus 1. If this construction here works, then we see that there are infinitely many such values for m because there are infinitely many prime numbers pl. But it is not given that this construction here always works because we already figured out that for such value of m, si must be greater than or equal to ri. So let's take a look back to this equation here and try to figure out if this inequality is true. At first, we take a look for i greater than or equal to 2. Here we want that pi to the power of ri minus 1 is greater than or equal to ri. Taking ri equal to 1, we see that this inequality here is true. And now, by induction, we can also get that this inequality here holds for every ri greater than or equal to 1. So let's go on to the exponent of p1. Here we want that p1 to the power of r1 minus 1 minus 1 is greater than or equal than r1. For r1 equal to 1, we get a problem because then the left hand side is equal to 0 and the right hand side equal to 1. Taking r1 equal to 2 and p1 equal to 2, we see that we get a problem as well because the left hand side is here equal to 1 and the right hand side equal to 2. For all other values for r1 and p1, we see that this inequality here holds. And this can be proven by the same argument we used for the first inequality. If this is not the case, then all these multiples m here are solutions for d of m equals n, and therefore n is not a solution. So to find all solutions for n, it is left to check these cases here. I want to note that the choice of the index 1 was arbitrary here. Therefore, we can do the same argument for all the other indices to get that n can only be a solution if ri equals to 1 for all i, or if r1 equals p1 equals 2 and ri equals 
one for all, i greater than or equal to two. Let's start by taking a look at the first case here, that ri equals one for all i. This tells us that n is the product of exactly k prime numbers. Now, if we take a look at d of m, we see that it is the product of l factors each greater than or equal to two. If l is greater than or equal to k plus one, this would mean that d of m has at least k plus one prime factors, so it can't be equal to m. Therefore, in this case, we get that k must be equal to l. Taking a look back to the formula of d of m, we see that if l equals k, then this term here is equal to n only for a finite number of choices for si. And therefore, in this case, we have indeed a solution for n. For the second case, let's take a look back to our construction of m and what the problem was. This inequality here is false because both p1 and r1 are small. An idea to solve this problem is to switch two of the exponents in this representation of m here. This is only possible if k is greater than or equal to 2. So let's take a look at this case. And we write m equals pl to the power of p1 minus 1 times p1 to the power of p2 to the power of r2 minus 1 times p2 to the power of p1 to the power of r1 minus 1 minus 1 and now again times the product of i equals 3 up to k pi to the power of pi to the power of ri minus 1. We again have to check the inequality that si is greater than or equal to ri. For our factors here in our product, we already know that this is true because of this argument here. For this exponent here, we get that p2 to the power of r2 minus 1 is equal to p2 minus 1, which is greater than or equal to 2, or r1. For the other exponent here, we get that p1 to the power of r1 minus 1 minus 1 equal 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 1 or equal to r2. Thus, all these inequalities here are set aside for this value of m, and therefore this gives us no solution for n. We are left to deal with the case that k is equal to 1, and here we get that n must be equal to 4. Since r1 is equal to 2, we know that s1 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 3. Therefore, since we want d of m to be equal to n, we know that all the factors here are divisors of n, and especially s1 plus 1 is a divisor of n, and therefore we can conclude that s1 plus 1 must be equal to 4. If we take a look back to d of m, we want to have that it is equal to 4, and therefore all the factors here must be equal to 1 except s1 plus 1. But this is only possible if l is equal to 1. So the only possible value for m in order to get d of m equal n is m equal 8, and therefore this here is indeed a solution, and we are done.